rattled by the growing influence of Nigerian youth declaring support for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, the All Progressive Congress, APC, has constituted a special national take tax force to mobilize youth and ensure party's victory at the 2023 presidential poll. APC National Youth Leader Dayo Israel, who inaugurated the committee at the party's national secretariat on Wednesday, dismissed Obi's influence, posing any threat to the ruling party's presidential candidate, Asiweju Bola Ahmed Tunubu. He announced the former Kwara State Commissioner for Information and the former president of the Pan African Youth Council and the APC Deputy National Youth Leader as the Tax Force Chairman and Deputy, respectively. He declared that a lion like Asiwe Jutinubu has no reason to feel threatened by the noise of rats as at his backyard coming from the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Israel also noted that it is purely a national tax force for registration and the revalidation of youth, youth-led and uh, student stroke youth-focused youth support group for 2023 presidential election. Ask if he is threatened by the large Numbers of youth mobilizing to vote Peter Obi, he replied, First, is a lion. is not threatened, and the noise of rats in his backyard. So you must understand that we have continued as a party to play our part, and the youth wing of the party has continued to rise to the occasion to mobilize the youth people of our generation. Why we are not threatened, we are not sitting on our hands, we are taking responsibility and that is why we have this dynamic crop of young people who are passionate about change because we believe that the future of the people of the party belongs to us. That is why we have co-opted all of these dynamic gentlemen to come together to see that we must also begin to mobilize young people in our own party and because we have a structure of the youth wing the the youth the party youth wing is not going to do the work alone we are going to do it with support of support and campaign groups and so our own response to all of that Mobilization is also, as a general, wake up all our own field marshals and all our battalions and our commanders in our party support group across the nation and bring them together to ensure that we begin to mobilize Nigerian youth in our own various states or zones and our constituency for the party's victory. Yes. We are not threatened, but at the same time, we are not expecting a miracle to happen. We are doing the job, and this is part of doing the job. We want to document all our support groups. We will then begin to create programs and activities for them. <laughs> we are going to train them. We are going to give them skills. We are going to work with them to ensure that all the various support groups are delivering in their various zone but that is not all by the grace of god we are going to inaugurating another special committee next week that is going to focus on the introduction of a membership for the apc youth wing <laughs> he said hmm. well with this we understand that they are threatened already by Peter Obi's movement, if not before then, they talk about how to uh, inaugurate youth or whatever and all that. These people know what is on ground, that Peter Obi's movement is too huge. 
and they know this these have taken away their sleep. That is it. This is coming from an APC member, a youth leader. What change is he talking about? He's coming out to talk about change again. These people can never get tired of lies. This is the change we are today. Poverty have taken over the land. Insecurity is number one problem we have. Because before we see the manage say we they eat twice in a day. But now, how can you manage insecurity? When you are not even sure what is going to happen to you, and the next minute, Fulani Hesmen are all are all everywhere looking for who to kidnap, to rape and kill, and all that. And the government will always look the other way, pretending to be fighting corruption. The worst corrupt government in the, in the history of this uh, great country, Nigeria. They should understand that this is not going to be business as usual. Life don't change. Youth don't get sense. So anybody, when they think, say, they dance, eh? They dance, they enter a canopy. You are your own. You are on your own. Peter Opi does not have structure. Make gonna leave him. We go manage structureless party this time. Because we don't they do structure party since they not give us good, good results. This time around, we are going for structureless, you know, party. Let's see how it goes. Make we see try another hand. So make we never begin to cry. Because all these ones is just is is in fact Nigerians can now see that these people are losing their sleep. They are being threatened by Peter Obi movement. But waiting God talks it will be go be. No matter how they try or whatever they are working, it's not going to work. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Mm -hmm.